from Explosions Incorporated. This week I have a really simple at-home experiment for everyone to try. All that you need is a bendy straw and a ping pong ball. Here's how it works. Make sure that there's a 90 degree bend in the bendy straw. You're going to blow into that while holding the ping pong ball over the end of the straw. Once your breath really starts to get going, you can let go of the ball. Now it looks like the ball is balancing on the column of air that's coming out of the straw. So this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt the straw a little bit to the side and we're going to get the same effect. Here's what's happening. It may not seem like it, but air is a physical substance. It has weight, it takes up space. The amount of air in a given area is known as the air pressure. For example, here at about sea level, the air pressure is about 14.7 pounds per square inch. What that means is for every square inch or so of surface area on your body, there's about 14.7 pounds pressing on that. Actually add up all of the square inches on the average person, and the average person is under around 2,000 pounds of air pressure of every moment of every day. Fortunately, our bodies are designed to operate under this type of pressure, and inside of us, we also have air that presses out at 14.7 pounds per square inch, causing a balance. It's an equilibrium. You may have noticed if you've ever flown on an airplane when it takes off or lands, or even if you've been in a car as it drives up through the hills or up the side of a mountain, that the air pressure changes. And you actually feel this mostly in your ears. As an airplane goes up or as the car goes up the side of that mountain, you may notice that your eardrums feel like they're being pressed out. This is what we call your ears popping. What's happening is that the further you get away from the surface of the earth, the less air is pressing in on you, but you still have the same amount inside of you pressing out. And your eardrums, which are these really thin membranes of skin, can press out because back here in your sinuses, in your head, you have air that is pressing out, and it is out of balance. Now, not only does altitude change air pressure, another thing that changes air pressure is the speed of the air. And in fact, that's exactly what's happening in this experiment. As you blow through the straw, the air is coming out the end a lot faster than the air that is surrounding us. So the air coming out of the end of the straw, this column right here, is lower pressure than the rest of the air. The ball is being surrounded by this fast-moving air. It's caught in a column of low pressure. The regular pressure air, which is higher than the air in this column is pressing in, and it actually traps the ball in this column. In fact, this idea of fast-moving air generating low pressure was discovered a long time ago by a guy named Daniel Bernoulli. You may have heard of the Bernoulli effect. It refers to fluids or gases, and as they move, they actually change the pressure around them. This is actually uh, one of the things that leads to the science of aeronautics, how airplanes fly. And in fact, in a later video, we're going to talk a lot more about how that works. But, to kind of put this back into perspective here, Fast-moving air generates a column of low pressure. The ball gets trapped in this column of low pressure. It's all about air, it's all about pressure, and next week I'm going to expand a little bit on these ideas. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Aaron with Explosions Incorporated.